Hey, Washington football fans. Today, I wanted to talk about Washington's anchor man, Ron Burgundy in gold. How this franchise got classy. Before Ron came, we had some really good players, but that was to be expected. We weren't doing great. We were picking in the mid early first round and we figured out if we drafted defense we usually got a pretty good player and once we started realizing what the real problem was with just the culture of players we tried to build an artificial culture we did that by trying to draft as many of Nick Saban's guys as possible and honestly, that helped out. Those were some great guys that are still on the team. But we are still doing things wrong. From top to bottom, we just didn't have people in the organization that knew how to be winners. Or more importantly, how to behave like winners. Winners don't cut corners. And that's what we were even trying to do with the culture. We were trying to cut corners by bringing somebody else's culture in. We did that with the players. We had high-priced free agents. Even some of the coaches we brought in and the staff we brought in, it was, it was just we were trying to get everything pre-made and instant. You know, We were trying to ride off of somebody else's success. Then Ron Rivera came. He changed all that. He installed his real sustainable winning culture. We had great players that weren't playing up to their potential. Part of that was bad, bad scheme. Ron brought in the right people to fix that. But more importantly, he instilled personal accountability and he looked for people with leadership. He made it so that every player held themselves accountable. And leaders on the team set the best example by being their own hardest critics. When you've got the best players out there being the hardest on themselves and pushing themselves to be better, everybody else wants to do the same. You don't want to be the guy that's got the most room to improve and not busting his ass when you got somebody else out there that's the A-tier athlete that's still pushing himself every second through practice. These, these great players set great examples. And then Ron himself set a great example. He led by example. At one of the toughest points in his life, while he's battling cancer, he drags himself to practice. He was there to try to push, teach, and mold these players into better men in all facets of their life, not just in football. He's just trying to make them better all around. The ones that had it in them, they rose to the top. And as a fan, you can feel the difference. Now, we've had like little spurts of success in some relatively recent years. Like, we had the RG3 season where we all got excited, but that was just one spark from one player, perfect scenario with like one coordinator. Like, everything just kind of worked out. And. Kirk Cousins, that was, you know, we had kind of had something there. And even the Shanahans were good coaches, but they just didn't seem invested in the team. And partially, I mean, that was Dan Snyder's fault. He hadn't learned his lesson yet. But now that he has... And Ron Rivera has been given the ability to fully mold and execute his vision. 
things are looking brighter than ever. Ron came here, and in his first year, he ran into as many obstacles as he possibly could. The whole league had to deal with COVID. There were even other teams that had new coaches coming in during that that still had to deal with all that too. But none of them came into an organization that was as bad off as Washington as far as we had the scandals going on with the team's media personnel too, scrutiny over the name, the name change. And on top of all that, Ron had to deal with cancer treatment. He's diagnosed with cancer, and he had to go through these treatments that completely drained him of energy. But through all these obstacles, completely drained of energy, he pushed himself to come in, and through sheer force of will, change this culture. If you were here and you weren't a high character guy, you saw Ron, what he was going through, and his grit inspired you to become one. As far as actual personnel goes, he came in and figured out where the, the team's strengths lied. He saw this team, the group of players, how much defensive talent we had. I mean, that's probably part of the reason he took the job was all the defensive talent we had. And he knew that with, you know, some new leadership and a few tweaks, you know, it could be a a good team. He came in and and had what was supposed to be a first-round franchise quarterback. He gave him a chance, but when he realized that he wasn't a guy that could motivate himself, let alone the team, he was out the door. He leaned into the team's defensive identity. He strengthened our strengths, brought in high skill, and more importantly, high character guys. And even with this horrible situation at quarterback, he managed to grind out a division championship in his first season and put the league on notice with a scrap against the eventual Super Bowl champions. I mean, people started really talking about us then. You know, how how tough a time we gave Tampa Bay with a quarterback off the couch. But this offseason, Ron's continued on with his vision. He's attacked any weaknesses the team had. He polished off the already great defense in the draft, leaving as few holes as possible. He fortified the offensive trenches so that now, I mean, you can't look at what we have on the offensive line and view that as anything more than one of our main strengths. Like, it's kind of underrated. But all all the extra pieces we got to the offensive line that was already good, man, it, it seems like we could field two starter-quality offensive lines, just like with the defensive line. So he knows the importance of winning in the trenches on both sides. Then he made sure he got a great complement of offensive weapons because we really lacked that last year. Make things easier on the defense. And then he went out and got a signal caller at the very least that, you know, doesn't have an injury problem. Somebody that can go out there and score points every week. Now, The guy hadn't had much success as a starter, but Ron believes in him. He knows he's got good character. He knows he he can get the team motivated. And it was just a point of improvement. 
with all these upgrades and Ron Rivera's leadership, you can't help but feel optimistic about the future of this team. Even the most cynical fans among us are seeing how promising the team is. The media is actually giving us praise. It's something we haven't seen or felt here a long time in Washington. Well, as Washington fans. And at the end of the day, we know there's something real about Ron's sustainable winning culture. We had a lot of great pieces anchored together by Ron Rivera, the man that made the burgundy and gold classy again. If y'all like my little puff piece on Ron Rivera, I just, I don't know, I just wanted to just bring some more praise to this man and maybe hype everybody up about how how great the direction he's taking this team is. If you like the video, like the video. Comment down below. I mean, I know it was cheesy, but man, Ron just got me excited. And looking at the schedule, I know, I, you know, I, I went hard on the, the prediction video with the 13 and 4 <laughs> prediction, but. Ron Rivera makes me feel like that can happen. The team he's put together, the culture he's established, I think 14 and 3 is possible. <laughs> I just feel great about this team. I just know we're going to win the division and we're going to go deep in the playoffs this year. And it's because of that man, Ron Rivera and the team he's built. So anybody listened, I love y'all. Peace.